Thanks for tuning in. This is Ken, Bryce's dad. And this is his eclectic 1976 Chevy Hot Rod van that he has owned and loved for over 20 years. With this simple outfitted van, Ken was an original weekend warrior by taking this bad boy out on the weekends to car shows. And now we get the pleasure to join him on a cruise down memory lane. I drove by it 20 years ago for two weeks and it was for sale. I tried not to buy it, couldn't do it. So I finally called it the guy and because he wanted 5,500 for it. And I said that uh, I didn't have 5,500, I only had uh, 2,500 cash. He said, no, the transmission and the motor cost more than that. And I said, well, that's all I got. So if you want to sell it, fine. If you don't, fine. There's my number. And then he called me back on the 4th of July and says, uh, see you Monday and bring cash. So then I had to call Bonnie and tell her that we're buying a van and that I didn't have any money. <laughs> so we had to go to the bank. And she said, do we need that? And I said, yeah, we need it. Hadn't ran it by the wife yet, huh? No. On Monday, went and got some money, because I kind of lied about the money thing, because I didn't have any. And then me and Bryce took another car, and we went over there, and me and him bought it. Okay, the guy was pretty mad, because he had to sell it, but he wanted more money for it. But he needed the money, and he, he was going to move. So, I just got it. And it was fake. Yes. <laughs> because these were hard to find 20 years ago. And now, I guess the last time somebody wanted to buy it was 10000 They'd give me for it. And I said, no, I don't want to sell it yet. I'm not done playing with it. So, Dad, uh, what do you use this van for? Well, when I started my own business, I needed something for a backup van because the other one that I had was getting old. So this was just kind of used for when the other one broke down, I had a backup. Is it now kind of a hot rod? Oh, you're not working so much anymore? It was always a hot rod. Yeah. But now, now it's just, uh, it's always been a toy. Just to have the advertising on it was uh, good because that way they, it, They'd look at the van and they'd, they'd know what SBS actually meant. Mm -hmm. And so it's a sticky business sign. Or it's Ken's BS, Ken's bullshit. <laughs> it's the same bullshit, <laughs> that's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> so can we get a tour of some of the stuff you got in here? Well, the speakers are from my first stereo and I think they were probably bought in probably 19... 72. Wow. And the uh, bed spread is made from my old t shirts. They're obviously they shrunk, and that's why we took them and made a bed on them. <laughs> and Bonnie uh, took, took them all, and, uh, and uh, it's kind of like a walk through my whole life, the bed spread. So it's one of my favorite things. And I really like that. Yeah, that's a good use for t-shirts that uh, either don't Obviously fit or shrunk. yeah they shrunk or they wore out or something <laughs> yeah. i like that well i just didn't want them in a drawer forever yeah you know because i didn't know that they were going to shrink that much <laughs> <laughs> i don't think it was originally made for sleeping actually but now it's a place to take a nap <laughs> my friend's place and I don't have to sleep in their house, I just sleep in the van. So that's one of the best things about having, if you're going to have a hot rod or a street rod and all that stuff, uh, you can go someplace and stay, you know, you don't, you're not uh, encroaching on anybody's space, so mm -hmm. it's, it's really good for that. So have you ever thought about going full-time van life like us and living in it? So it looks like you got a vintage Coleman cooler in here. That's probably 20 years old too and uh, went through a lot of car shows and uh, if we went to a car show maybe if there's 300, 400 cars and two black vans <laughs> and that's about you know, because they are so rare and I didn't know what to do with the stickers and since uh, I put stickers on for a living 
I started putting them on the cooler and then I couldn't stop. <laughs> so that's another thing in my whole life that uh, they're pretty much wherever I went is on the coolers. What are some of the things that stand out that you added or that were in here? Well, you put the stereo in. That's one of the best stereos I've ever had. And most of the stuff was all in there. But, but uh, it's got a different transmission than these vans originally had. The speedometer is about 10 miles an hour off. So then I got this to actually know how fast I'm going. And that would come in handy sometimes. But everything else is pretty much the way it was when I bought it. it I don't think the original van had air or tilt in it. So he took something out of other vans and put, put the dash in and the steering column so it would tilt. Oh, nice, that'd be handy. Yeah, but then again, like I said, with the transmission, it's in, we've got to be real careful with the shifter because they never made this van with a 400 turbo. This van was originally fixed up and designed for hauling a boat around, and it was a pretty big boat. So it needed a big motor and a, a good transmission. It's got a 350 with a 400 turbo and 360 gears, so it's made for pulling, and it's got overload springs in the back. So dad, what's with all these dents in the foam? Uh, when they originally did the interior, they didn't expect it to last 35 years. And so if you touch it, I'm gonna. I've been told my whole childhood not to touch this. <laughs> if you touch it, your fingerprints in there forever, so. And this is me rolling around and got to go. Just imagine that if you touch the wall or the ceiling on your vehicle once, the foam never Recovers. Never comes back, no, <laughs> falls apart. Yeah, and that's a bummer. They called it a stabbing cabin. Oh my god, I, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, the stickers on the van as I started my own business probably 25 years ago. I said, it's kind of sticky business striping cars out here in the driveway when I know one of those guys are going to drive by. And he goes, you mean sticky? And I thought, well, that's the name of the business now. So that's how it ends up being sticky business sign. That's a perfect name. Yeah, it was the only one. <laughs> and on this, uh, the paint job is so old, I have dents in it. And instead of fixing them, I uh, put stickers over them. And at the time we did this, that uh, the bullet holes were really popular, or it was before they got popular when I put them on there just because it had dent in the back door. If you store something, it'll eventually get dents and scratches in it mysteriously. It could be from cats, could be from people. I did that one, and this is mysteriously, and so I just covered them up. So instead of me walking around and seeing dents, it just made me mad, and I was never going to get it fixed. I just put stickers on it. And this I got from Bryce and Jen for Christmas present because I'm a rat fink guy. And if you don't know what rat fink is, you probably never know. Or you gotta be older. <laughs> but that was a present, which I like. The rims are, uh, they came with the van. I put different tires on them. This fender got repainted. Some of this pond got repainted. The scratches are all from cats climbing on it. So that's why I'm not gonna paint it again, because they'll just scratch it up. And the only thing I'm really going to do is I'm going to take the seats out and put in swivel. But other than that, uh, she's pretty much done. And this is one of the best things I've ever bought. And uh, like I said, I'm not going to sell it. Not now, anyway. There's one thing about this van you can't see out of it. It's got a rear view mirror, but don't have any windows. <laughs> That's just so I can look at myself. <laughs> and I have had this stuck in the lake. And <laughs> And once you're in a lake stuck, you're stuck. 
That doesn't sound like a good time to me. No, you don't back up in a lake. <laughs> it's not a good idea. It, uh, I thought I could get a run at it, but when I backed up, I, I was way underwater then. Oh no. So, you, you might have been there on that one. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't good. Sticky. All the smell's gone in this one. 